What is everybody? This is Raycast here, and today I've got a very, very, very short video of my first impressions of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So this is a game that I just got for Christmas, literally today. It is 3.36 a.m., technically December 26th, but I have been up since, this, this, you know, the start of Christmas. So, it's been a really long day, so I just want to make this a short video, but this is going to be a first impressions of The Witcher 3, and I gotta say, this game kind of surprised me a, a lot. Now, I first played this game, like, maybe a couple weeks after it came out, and I just couldn't get into it. I thought there were too many cutscenes and stuff, and I just, I didn't really want to like the game, honestly, but... I started watching videos, then it got Game of the Year, and I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it another try. It can't be a bad game. So, when I first laid my hands on this game, first of all, it took a hell of a lot of time to install. It took like two and a half hours. Then I had to install it again because it wasn't like it was wasn't finishing. So I just wanted to install it again. That took another like two and a half hours. So it was a struggle. To even play the game but when I did oh it was worth it my first impressions on it though the graphics are the graphics are amazing there's wind animation stuff that looks awesome the graphics look sick and amazing the world looks huge the map is gigantic oh my gosh one little area is probably the size of Fallout 4's map or Skyrim. It's insanity. And I I was thinking, you know, that would be really cool and stuff, but games could fuck it up big time by just making huge areas and just making humongous maps and then not putting any content in it. But so far, what I've experienced in The Witcher 3, there's just stuff to do around every corner. Like, there's kind of like a bounty board of Borderlands. There's a, um, a board like that where you can gather contracts and stuff and other quests. All the quests. The quests in this game are amazing. Oh my gosh. They're flushed out. There's different levels of each quest. They evolve as it goes. None of them are the same. It They are great. And they, they take a while. But they are great quests. And it's awesome. Now the one thing that is kind of bad for me. But I'll get used to it. Is the user interface. Is in, user interface. Interfa ah! The user interface is a, a bit confusing. To me, I'm used to like clear cut things like Fallout or Skyrim. I'm sorry, I keep naming those, but those are these are the games that everybody is comparing it to. So these are the games that I'm comparing it to. Just you know, comparatism. I don't fucking know. But um, the user interface is kind of a bit confusing. I mean, I'm starting to learn it now, and I know most of the basics, but I'm still learning stuff like the alchemy crafting and the actual crafting of um armor and stuff it is really unique and cool though how you can't really craft anything because you, you don't really have the skill i mean you might be able to level up it for skill but i don't have the skill right now because i'm just starting out the game but like you can go to you have to go to specific types of blacksmiths that have the skill like th there's little in the first area which is called white orchard there's Naft Garden, Garden, whatever it is, Nif, Nif Garden. Um, there's a blacksmith at a little camp that I found, like a little military camp, and um, I tried to get him to craft something for me, but he didn't have enough skill. And then he recommended me to a blacksmith in some town called Venzi or something. Venzi. Um, I haven't been there yet because I'm trying to take this game slow. And I'm trying to, you know, enjoy and savor, savor the moments without rushing through it. So I haven't really gone to that city yet, but I know it's going to be sick because I've seen it on the map. And I've seen it in a little bit of gameplay that I watched on YouTube a couple weeks before, and it looks amazing. So I'm excited for that. But the world is amazing. The combat is actually really fluid and great. It's challenging, too. It's not hard, like... I mean, it's not easy like Assassin's Creed where you can literally just take out enemies. Enemies that in the 
NPCs are really good. And um, the a- AI, which is probably the same. Well, I, sh- I, sh- I, I, I should have said AI for the first thing, but the AI, the AI is really good. And to go into the NPCs, the NPCs, I've noticed every single NPC I've talked to, they are flushed out people. They actually seem like actual people. Like, I got so, like carried away when I'm talking in these conversations I guess I got so invested into all these conversations where I actually like cared about them and I actually like I don't know they just felt so real it was amazing that they pulled all that off like every NPC just unique and just feels like they are actually a real person it's amazing the towns feel populated they actually feel real there's kids playing and stuff it's just it's crazy. It feels so real. This is like the most real world I've ever seen. Like, I'd honestly probably say it's close to being as good as Skyrim. Honestly, if you guys don't know, Skyrim is probably my favorite game I've ever played. Um, but I think it's actually pretty close to being as good as Skyrim. It is. I mean, I know this is just my first impressions. I'm obviously gonna make a full final review once I completely play through the whole game which that would be in a long time but um i'm just really blown away by by the sheer like craftsmanship of this game i know it's weird saying that but how this is just such a well-crafted game from the start all the NPCs are great. The towns are sick. There's so much to do. There's so many quests to do. All of it's so interesting. It's all flushed out. And it's so amazing. Like, the interface, I'll get used to it. There's loot everywhere. You can loot everything. The Witcher sense is awesome. And, you, like, some of the quests involve you actually having to find clues. So, like... I don't know, it's not just thread it out for you, like, go to this location, get that, kill that, blah, blah, blah. There's so such unique quests. Every single quest I've played so far has been unique. And I've had to, like, kind of be like a detective, I'd say, which is really cool. And it was cool using the Witcher sense and actually having to overcome challenges because some of the puzzles are actually very challenging. And it's just, I'm blown away. If you can't tell it by my voice, I'm blown away. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll have a final review whenever I finish this game. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.